Hi everyone and welcome to this special edition of Nick the Traveler. I wanted to kind of go over some of my thoughts about the inauguration this week of the new U.S. President Barack Obama. So here we celebrated it on Wednesday because of course we're 19 hours ahead of Midwest and 18 hours ahead of the East Coast and um, it was kind of interesting to see. They did an electro, they did an inauguration special starting at 5.30 a.m. here and they covered um, all the main highlights, including Aretha Franklin's hat and um, the swearing in. Now, I didn't get to stay for too long after the swearing in because of some work commitments, but it was great to see uh, a new leadership come in. Even if you don't like him, even if you're more conservative than he is, it really is a big history making event. It, it makes everything, or it makes a lot of things move. Like, America can't elect a black president, and it also gives a lot of hope to African Americans to know that they, they can one day reach that if they, uh, they get the right education and, and do the right things in their life. So, beyond that, there's also something really cool that's been covered here. I think that the election, of, the election and inauguration of our new president was covered here more than the election of the new Prime Minister, which happened three days after Barack Obama won the election. Very interesting. So, this is the day before elections newspaper. And John Roberts, it's actually written correctly on there. And here is the actual inauguration day newspaper. This is from the New Zealand Herald. In it, you'd find pictures, stories, polls, agenda items, much more than that was covered when John Key, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, was elected. Very interesting. A lot of people don't understand that when, when we do talk about the President of the United States being the leader of the free world, it's absolutely true. Because there's a, it has a huge impact even here in New Zealand um, and, and other countries that are, are part of the Western world, I guess you could say. So, anyway, those are just my thoughts on the inauguration. I hoped you liked watching it. I hoped you liked history being made. I hope you weren't too depressed if you're a Republican, but it was fun to see. So that's all for this edition of Naked Traveler. I'll see you next time.